Why do I still use the iPhone 12 Pro in 2024? Nowadays, iPhones have gotten really good. Starting with the iPhone X, the iPhone has everything now. A great camera, a decent battery life, iMessage, FaceTime, and Memojis. Like, what else could you possibly want? So let's just take a look at the iPhone 12 Pro and see why I still use it. Like, first off, the build quality and the overall design, it's stunning. Top of the line build quality using materials like stainless steel and ceramic glass. It has a highly premium feel in the hand and it's quite durable. It has slim bezels and a notch. Okay, let's face it, the dynamic island on the newer iPhones is nice to have but definitely not a need. The face ID works great and you can see all your notifications like do you really need an island to tell you what's up? Second up, we have the display. The iPhone 12 has a Super Retina XDR display, which is a high resolution OLED display that provides stunning visuals with deep blacks and bright whites. Like the display is, is very nice. Like I recently just took off my screen protector because I wanna see the actual display. I kinda like the display itself without a screen protector because you're missing out on just how stunning it is. Although the iPhone 12 Pro does not have the 120 Hertz refresh rate like the iPhone 15, it's still, a really good phone like it's not really noticeable to the naked eye unless you're a professional and you have used a 120 hertz refresh rate smartphone before and then you go back to a 60 hertz then it's noticeable but for a common person who's gonna for the most part stick to one phone at a time they're not gonna really notice the difference and it's definitely not noticeable to the naked eye so I don't think I necessarily need a 120 hertz display to begin with Let's talk about the camera. So the iPhones have always been known for their cameras and the 12 Pro has a pretty decent camera. I mean, every year, one of the main things that Apple improves on is the camera. They they add a maybe they add a new lens. They they add some sort of a newer sensor and whatnot to make it a bit more appealing and a reason for people to upgrade. And it, and it works every year. Like the latest iPhone 15 Pro has a great camera. Like recently MKBHD did a did his whole video about the iPhone 15 Pro, you know, filming it with the iPhone 15 Pro. And the video looks stunning. So like every year their cameras are great, but it's not a main reason for me to upgrade. So the 12 Pro for what I need, you know, I use the 12 Pro for all my review videos for the videos I take, except for this one, I used a 14 Pro for this. So a friend of mine let me use his phone. So I used the 14 Pro on this cause I needed to take a video of my 12 Pro. But other than that, all my other videos have been filmed on the 12 Pro. You know, I put it on 4K, 30 frames per second and the video quality looks great. It's stunning. Um, it's very clear, especially with good lighting. It, it looks it looks good. So for for my standpoint in my use cases, I think the camera does what it needs to do, and I don't have a reason to upgrade to the newer ones. I don't think the camera makes a good enough reason for me to upgrade just yet. But just looking at the 12 Pro, it has a triple lens rear camera system with a 12 megapixel main sensor and a 12 megapixel wide sensor and a 12 megapixel telephoto sensor. The camera system is excellent in all lighting conditions condition and it takes stunning photos and videos. Uh, there is night mode which is very impressive. It allows you to capture clear photos in very low light. And lastly, the telephoto lenses offers four times optical zoom, which is great for, you know, getting a closer capture of your subject. Moving on to performance, for my use cases, the iPhone 12 has has been great and it's powered by the A14 Bionic chip, which is one of the fastest chips on a mobile processor in the market at the time. And I know they have faster processors at this point, but it's, it's great. Like a lot of the times I edit my YouTube shorts on my iPhone, I just open up Adobe Rush and it's easy. You know, you can, you can edit videos, you can record. And a lot of the time it will render 4K videos in like matter of minutes. Yes, the videos are short, like most like a minute because you know I create the YouTube shorts but even with that you know 4k footage and everything it doesn't take too long so for my use case of making videos or editing on the phone uh, recording voiceovers or you know it can, it can handle all that or just like you know regular web browsing being on social media all that works fine loading up the camera filming you know it's very smooth it's very fast like I can open the camera quickly and go right into filming
Okay, let's talk about the battery life. So, so I've, I've had this phone for three years and in the three years, the battery capacity has gone down by like 20% now. I'm at like 80% right now. And so it's it's a decent battery. Um, it is not great. I know the newer iPhones have a better all day battery life and they're also a bigger battery, but you can still get a full day use of the iPhone 12 Pro on a single charge. It's just personally, I'm, I'm more of a heavy user. So it doesn't usually last me the whole day. So I'll have to charge it, but it doesn't quite bother me. I have a portable charger if I need to charge it on the go or if I'm home I can always just charge it so that's not a problem personally and lastly Apple is known for their software updates so Apple usually supports up to like four to five years of software updates so when the iPhone 12 Pro came out, it, it came with iOS 14. And to this day, you know, you have four to five years of software support. So currently I'm on iOS 17 with all its new features like live widgets. I really like the new clock widget, the, the new home screen with a bigger clock. And you can do you can do the little effect where the subject can be over the clock or over the time showing. So you get that like 3D type of feel. So you, you get a lot of the newer features. So it still supports it. And and for my need and my use case, it's, you know, it's still good till this day. And I don't see myself upgrading anytime soon. The one thing I do see myself upgrading for would be USB type C. iPhone 15 has that. And it would be nice, especially someone who makes tech videos, like being able to, you know, import or export the video files that I take right into an external hard drive would be, you know, super nice. That way I can easily transfer it to my computer or just, you know, save my iPhone storage and have it directly saved to an external hard drive. So overall, the iPhone 12 is a great phone that is still worth considering in 2024. It has a beautiful design, a fantastic camera system, and it has powerful performance. However, it is worth keeping in mind that it's not the latest model and the battery life is not great. And over time, as you know, the capacity of the battery reduces. And so I'm at, I'm at 80% right now. But for my needs, it's still a great phone and does everything you know one would need an iPhone for. And for the most part, most of my review videos have been filmed on the iPhone 12 Pro. So if you have seen my videos and you, and you know, you like what you're seeing, that's been done on the iPhone 12 Pro. And from my perspective, I'm, I'm pretty satisfied with it. At the end of the day, iPhones have come a long way. You don't need the latest iPhone anymore. Each new iPhone has minor changes that you can live without. But speaking of living without, you cannot live without superb tech videos. So have a superb day and thanks for watching.